Hey everybody, Andrew Fantasia here. Welcome to Digital Charcuterie and look what finally showed up. Um, it's it's finally here. Mid-2023 turned into fall 2023, which turned into October, which turned into November, which turned into late November, and now finally here we are. Um, local game stores still don't have it. I had to go through Amazon, which is kind of a drag, but at least it's finally here. Um, and man, look how beautiful this is. Now, I've never done an unboxing before, so maybe this is going to look like absolute garbage, and if it does, I apologize in advance, but I mean, that's a hell of a box, right? I mean, they, this is why I keep the boxes, because of how good they look, and this is new. Never seen this before. Knowledge of English required. Um, okay, <laughs> good thing I know English. Uh, all right, let's see here. Let's see if there's anything else. I mean, the back, we all know what the backs of these look like. We know what's coming. Uh, the sides are always nice. I love the sides of these boxes, too. They just, they're glorious. Uh, I hope that's coming through okay. Uh, all right, well, let's peel this open, and uh, hopefully everything inside will be a-okay. All right, here we go. Uh, let's find a spot right here. That looks like the spot. Trying very hard not to damage the box in any way because these boxes are part of the fun for me. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Bye bye, cellophane. You are no longer needed. Uh, whoops. Almost. Almost there. Okay. One more slice. Atta boy. There's the box with no cellophane on it. Here we go. Let's take a look at what's inside. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. All right. I'm trying to do it slowly and sultry, like it's a strip tease. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let me put that there. And free stuff that I never really look at. Maybe one day I will. Okay, everything is still coming through okay. Beautiful. Here is the rule book. There's the rule book. It's been a long time since I've opened one of these uh, brand new, so it's exciting. There's the rule book. It uh, feels thicker than normal, which is interesting. The, the Marvel United rule books are usually pretty small because it's a simple game. This one feels a tiny bit more substantial. Maybe because they've just added more rules and effects and things since the X-Men base, but very nice. Nice, fresh rule book, and it's got that new cardboard smell already. Ah, I love it. Okay, so there's the rule book. All right. What have we got here? Cardboard tokens? I've never seen these in a board game before. What's going on here? Uh, oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. There's all your stuff. And it's nice to get new... Uh, versions of these too because you know you use them so much it's nice to always have more on standby uh, I never opted for the plastic tokens but it's something I've always thought would be cool uh, I've also never gotten the cardboard dashboards and cardboard locations but those always seem like they'd be nice too especially since I play this so much I don't want to wear my uh, thin ones out so here's more tokens here's spots stuff here's the spider bots here's spider-man noir um, this Makes you play randomly, which is nice, you know, just a little bit more, a uh, little bit more love, more token love from Simon and Spin Master. Wonderful. And there's the meat. Uh, you, you guys don't want to see that, right? I can stop the video now. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Let's open that right there. Ooh, mama. All right, we can go off to the side. So let's start with the locations. We'll work our way to the fancy stuff. Ooh, this has cellophane on it too. So they don't have that little cardboard flap anymore that you just tear off, that little ribbon. That was always fun, just flicking it off. But now they got the cellophane. Okay, so I'm going to carefully, very carefully, undo this cellophane without cutting the location or my skin. Can it be done? Pray for me. Oh, boy. All right, let's see here. This is delicate, precise surgeon work that we're doing here. Uh, okay, I got a little bit. 
I want to make sure that I got enough. Oh no, I didn't, did I? Yes, I did, kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of. I need a little bit more. This is riveting stuff. I know you're all just glued to your seats. All right, there we go. Okay. And that cellophane is slowly but surely gone. All right. And there they are. We got our locations. So there's Sims Tower. I won't linger on these too long. You can pause if you like. There's Loom World. Japan! Always nice getting real world places too. The Great Weaver Temple. I've been there once. Great Brunch. Horizon Labs. Spider Island. Fun. The Parker Residence. Aww. See that little civilian right there? That's Aunt May. That's her. I love Aunt May. And Las Vegas. Very cool. Um, I always love how the core boxes give you eight locations. Just a nice chunk of new places to play with. Wonderful. Okay, let's put those aside there. Oh, here's a little ribbon. Here's one of those ribbons. Okay. On the villain dashboards. And there we go. We can just pop it off. Easy peasy. Much easier than that cellophane. And now we have our dashboards. We have this thing, which you know what? I haven't even used this since I got my playmat because the playmat lays this all out for you already. But these are still fine. If you don't have a playmat, they are wonderful. And there we go. There's our villain dashboards. Superior and Morlin. I like that purple. And Spot and Anti-Venom. The dashboards are some of my favorite pieces of Marvel United. I just love the way they look. I want to put them all together in the in the stack and just look at them as if they were trading cards. Yeah, that's so nice. All right. Here is one chunk of cards. There we go. One big chunk of cards. And uh, starting master plan. That's a new thing that they've got going on here, which is cool because some villains need it. So that tells me this is our villain deck, um, which is, it's funny, it's just a little backwards thing that I'm used to because this box had the villains on the left and the heroes on the right, and when I put my games away, I always do the opposite. I put the villains on the right. I don't know why. There's no right or wrong way to do it. That's just how I've ended up storing the game over the years. All right. Careful. These things are precious. We don't want to destroy them. Okay. All right, so we got our mission cards. Again, I love having more of these. The more the merrier. I don't want them to get worn out. And then we have our superior Spider-Man um, mission cards, right? Because he's got his own thing going on. And then we got the challenge cards, which I always wondered at first. I was like, why take up a whole card to do this when you can just print all this information on one card and you know save space but then I realized what Simon is trying to do is to have these challenges be like a challenge deck that you would pick from randomly and then you know you would get this and be like oh okay I got the moderate challenge let's do that so it took me a while to understand what they were going for there's all the superhero and super villain cards there lovely I haven't played with that mode yet actually have I no, I haven't. I did kind of like a homebrew version of it once with a friend, but that was it. One day I'll try this. Okay, but oh, we've got all our things here. So let's take a look at these, starting with Anti-Venom. All right, he's got his threats. Beautiful, beautiful. I mean, threats are threats. I'm not going to spend too much of time on it. Um, Meeple Monkey does great... Um, <laughs> Why am I blanking on the name? Uh, unboxings, that's it. He does great unboxings and he goes through a lot of detail and shows you what all the cards do. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of what's in the box, just so in case you open yours and you're missing something, you should have everything that you see here. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. 
And those are all of Anthony Venom's cards, and he has his starting master plan card, which is really cool. And here is Mr. Spot. Mr. Spot. Look at that, I love Spot's face. And he also has his threats. Five, six threats. And there's all of his master plan cards. He's going to be, he's a lot of bams. This guy's bamming all over the place. Look at that. All right. And again, that new cardboard smell. Mm, wonderful. Okay. Orlin. This guy scares the heck out of me because look at all of his henchmen. They are going to be doing some serious damage. I'm terrified of the prospect of fighting Orlin. And he too seems like he is bamming every single turn. Look at that. Oh, no, never mind. I lied. There's three where he's not banning. And one of them is right off the top. So. And then last but not least, Mr. Superior himself. With his threats, he's doing a lot of spider bot stuff. So he doesn't really need henchmen. And there we go with all of his cards. Beautiful. And he does not have a starting master plan either. And then look what we have here. I was curious how they were going to store these. And I'm finally getting to hold them in my hand. An equipment card. Wow, look at that. And the battle plans too. I forgot about those. Ah, they're, they're even smaller than I thought they would be. Um, they look like they're a tiny bit smaller than the Gloomhaven cards. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're the same size. But yeah, they're very tiny. So one of the things that about multiverse that I'm really curious to see is how all of that stuff is going to be stored, how they're going to present it to us. Like, what are the boxes going to look like? Because there's so many cards this time, right? There's all the equipment cards, but then there's also um, like the bonus equipment cards. There's the team decks. So there's so much that we never got before. So we have no frame of reference for how it's going to be packaged. And I'm really just interested to see how they're going to pull that off. Uh, the only thing we know that's going to be different, like the only thing that they made clear was Fin Fang Foom. He's going to be his own box because he comes, I think he comes with a location and he's too big to put in the, uh, the promos box, which makes perfect sense. But everything else, I'm still so curious and I can't wait to see what the promos box is going to look like to just the artwork, because those so far have been my favorite boxes. All right, whoops, the cellophane wants to stay with me, I'm sorry, there we go. Okay, there's our equipment cards, there's the batteries, um, man, when you flip it over, it tells you how to flip it back. Oh, the see the batteries, it can only be used once. There's Penny Parker's battery, she's got three of them. There's our web shooters, and again, colorful, because that's the name of the game here. I, I love how colorful Marvel United is and the equipment cards are nothing to sneeze at either. Those are very nice looking cards. And then we have these, uh, what are they called? Battle plan cards. Very nice. Boom, boom. And this, this is an interesting uh, way to play with the solo mode, commander solo mode, I believe it's called. So these, well, they're a little stuck together here, like good waffles. Uh, if anybody understands that Simpsons reference, thank you. Um, yeah, they're all stuck together. But yeah, these are an interesting strategy for that commander solo mode. Very cool. All right. I don't have sleeves for these. I don't have the, the right size. So I'll have to just tuck those safely away for now. And one last pack and then we can look at the minis, I promise. Okay. And this is how I roll, folks. I like to save the most exciting for last. So apologies if you're screaming at me to hold those miniatures up. But we'll get there. You can always fast forward if that's really all you want to see. I ain't going to stop you. All right. Here we go. Hero cards, which I love so much more than villain cards because they're just beautiful to look at. Right? Especially his. His is going to be the most colorful one in this game. Spider Punk, 
and they look gorgeous. Beautiful. They just keep outdoing themselves with the artwork every season. Uh, Spider-Man Noir? And there was a, a fellow in the Facebook, Marvel United Fanatics Facebook group, who just painted a Spider-Man Noir in what I would call like a perfect black and white um, brush technique that he did, and it looked wicked. Oh, there's Penny. Yeah, her, her, uh, her cards look great, too. Mm-hmm. Penny Parker. <laughs> That's a great, great picture. Mm-hmm. Nice. And Symbiote Spider-Man, who is one of my 90s staples. Um, and for the longest time, I thought when they got around to doing him in this game, I thought for sure they were going to make him an anti-hero. But no such luck. I guess really fighting him would be maybe too similar to fighting Superior, so I see why. And there's Silk, very, very cool new character, and apparently she's going to be in the Madam Web movie. Mm -hmm. That's a great, that's her, her mini's pose. She's jumping over the tombstone. Awesome. She's got lots of starting hand cards in this box. And there's Mr. Superior. Lots of spider bots and Meeple Monkey's playthrough showed just how handy those spider bots can be, especially against somebody like Hydro Man. Hydro Man uh, didn't stand a chance against Superior Spider Man. These are beautiful. There he is. There's the Scarlet Spider. And the colors they chose are perfection. Uh, like his red is just, it's subtle, but it's a different red from Spider Man's red. Uh, and his blue is obviously a much lighter blue than Spider-Man's blue. It's closer to aqua, and I've always loved his color scheme, and they got it right. They completely nailed it, both the red and the blue. He's different on both fronts from Peter Parker, so he looks amazing. And I'm sorry, I just realized I've been holding these sideways this whole time like a dumb dumb. Uh, like I said, first unboxing, but uh, hopefully you can at least still see what's going on. And last but not least, there's Anti-Venom. Um, oh, and he's a big meanie. And I don't know who's in that symbiote. I don't know if it's Eddie Brock or what. The comics have gotten very, um, like that, the, the symbiote in the comics has gotten around, like, I heard it went on to Mac Gargan, and then it went on to Flash Thompson, and I'm like, that's great, but to me, Eddie Brock is Venom. Like, so, uh, whoever, I like the brown. That's different. You don't see villain or any cards in this game with that dark chocolate brown. Very nice. Uh, so whoever's in the anti-venom suit, I hope it's not Eddie Brock. I hope it's somebody else. But those are the hero cards. And finally, we're going to take a look at these minis. Okay. Um, let's start with the villains. Okay. Let's start with Spot. So there is Spot. He's got the rocket or the bullet, whatever it is, shooting into one hole and coming out the other. Very cool. Whoops. Look at that. That's awesome. All right. And, ooh, Morlin. He feels substantially heavier than Spot. Which makes sense, because he's ten times more terrifying, in my opinion. That house, that roof, the fire. Oh, my gosh. That is absurdly cool. Um, and as you guys probably know, I've probably mentioned many times before on this channel, I am not a painter. Um, it's not that I am against painting, it's just that I am completely not able to fund the, you know, buying all the equipment. That's just out of my budget, and I feel like I would mess it up anyway. Um, our anti-venom looks really cool. Um, I was always a little bit disappointed that our Venom figure was never purple, right? We just have the two Venom figures instead. But this is the next best thing. Look at that. Very scary. Yeah, so painting is probably not something that's ever going to happen. Um, maybe one day if I win the lottery. But wow, look at that. 
or Superior Spider-Man. Um, but I would, I would practice on another game first. I have Arcadia Quest, the other game that they made. Um, I obviously care about this game way more, so I would practice on those first to make sure I got it right. But if I did paint it, I would want it to look very bright, very colorful, very much like the 90s cartoons, the way those character models looked, because to me, that's Marvel. Um, wow, that is just beautiful. All right. And what's interesting about him is the insides of his, uh, his legs are hollow. So when I tap him like that, I can actually feel the vibration of air going through them. That's very interesting. Okay, what have we got here? Symbiote, Spider-Man, with a big black web behind him. Yeah, I like that. He looks like he's yelling at Shocker. <laughs> uh, if anybody has seen that clip from the 90s cartoon where he goes bananas on Shocker. Uh, so when Shocker finally arrives, I'll probably have to have them fight. Okay, I'm gonna be careful here. Spider-Man Noir, another wall. Um, we have a few wall characters like Spidey and Kitty Pride. He looks outstanding though. I love the hat. I love the idea of Marvel United characters with hats. So he's got his crossbow, great stuff. Very nice. Mm, let's see. Ah, Penny. Penny's the one I was the most curious about. Look how big she is. I was so curious how they were going to do this. She's substantially bigger, but she's tiny because she's a little girl. So it evens out. Um, and she doesn't feel oversized. It's a cool sort of middle ground. Great. I'm going to leave her outside because she was actually blocking my uh, path to silk here. There is Silk, one of the coolest minis in the game. R.I.P. I wonder whose grave that is. Wow, look at that. What a great pose. Okay. Thanks, Silk. <laughs> There's the man of the hour. And actually, probably the least interesting looking mini in this box, if we're going to be honest. He's just jumping off a chimney. Um, nothing too special about it, but still, it's Scarlet Spider, so it really, really makes me happy. Yeah. Glorious. They got his hoodie right and everything. And at last, we come to, let's be real, the best mini in this box, and that's Spider-Punk. He's got a mohawk, he's got an amp, he's got a guitar, he's making the rock and roll symbol and there's a little pick in his hands too come on so much fun wow i love it do you love it spider punk i sure do mate yeah that's my, my best spider punk voice uh all right let me put him back beautiful well i hope you guys enjoyed that i hope it wasn't too um amateur for you but there we have it there is marvel united spider getting and I'm so happy it's finally here. Now I'm going to uh, have some fun, sit down, relax, and sleeve most of these cards. Um, but thank you so much for taking a gander at this with me. And hopefully the rest of the wait for season three won't be as long as the wait for this. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, may you be the masters of your own universe.